feet pointing forwards, the usual. Toes pointing forwards, feet pointing forwards. Make sure that when your feet are forwards, your kneecaps are as well, and the front of your hip bones pointing forwards too. Good, you can't see your shoulders, but hopefully everything's nicely in, in line there. With your hands on your hips, just roll forwards and backwards. The first few, you can pick up your toes and pick up your heels, just getting the idea of going forwards and backwards through the feet, through the heels, and then settle it down so that you're just quite subtly going forwards and backwards. Just the weight going onto your toes and then your heels, feeling what's happening around here. And if not much is happening, which could be the case, it might be that you've got to talk to this area and use your back muscles and your glutes a little bit as you come forwards and use your abs as you scoop under and come backwards. Good. As you're doing that nice rock forwards and backwards, make sure you drop through your shoulders, tuck through your chin, lengthen the back of the neck. Good. And then settle somewhere in between. The main point of that is just to feel where too far forwards is and where too far back is and settle halfway. And then coming from leg to leg, side to side. Good. I fear my camera might be a bit misted up. I'm just going to give it a clean. <laughs> Should be better. I think it's just the sun though coming in, to be honest. Okay, just going from leg to leg. And as I always say, squeeze through your glutes and squeeze through your thigh. Tighten each glute, tighten each thigh. The thighs are more difficult to tighten, to be honest. You might want to sort of squeeze and lift through your kneecap each time as you take the weight onto the leg. And it's just getting used to taking the weight over onto the leg and what that leg needs to do when you take the weight onto it. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your thigh. Brilliant. Keeping the shoulders down, chin tucked. Lovely. Bring your feet just a tiny bit closer. Lift one heel, swap and push the heel down into the floor. Good. Draw in here, shoulders down, chin tucked. Kind of depends where you've got me balanced, doesn't it? Whether I'm right in front of you there or whether I'm down on the floor. Just be careful not to let that adjust your posture too much. Keeping your eye line forwards, ideally, and then that will keep your head in a good position. Then just keep glancing with your eyes down at me. <laughs> Brilliant. Now we're taking the weight over onto our left leg. Set it up by tightening your thigh, tightening your glute and round your tummy. Pick up the right leg there. Catch your balance first and then put your foot on the inside of the knee and take the knee out to the side. Front and side. So it's like doing a clam but in standing. Work through that standing foot. Drop the shoulders. Two more. Lovely. Bring the foot down. Take the weight through that leg. Squeeze up through that thigh and glute and tummy. Drop the shoulders. Pick up the other. Foot on the knee and then take the knee out to the side. Good. Keeping those hips locked forwards. Nice. Taking the leg as far out to the side, or the knee as far out to the side, before the hips want to follow and rotate with it. Three, two, one. Down. I think we did a few more on that leg, but never mind, we'll equal out as we go along. <laughs> Brilliant. With your palms facing up. Good. Drop through the shoulders. Bend the knees a little bit. Tuck your bottom under. Push your arms forwards without closing your shoulders. So try and keep everything nice and strong around your back. And then pull the elbows back a little bit further than usual there. Push forwards and then pull the elbows back. So you get a bit of a stretch when the elbows come back. Forwards and back. Excellent. Glad I turned side on for that. You can't see otherwise. <laughs> Good. And that should stretch through your back a little. Tucking the chin, lengthening the back of the neck, 
keeping the weight back through the heels. Brilliant. Three, two, last one. Good. Stretch forwards, out, and I want us to pulse with the arms out to the side there. Keep the palms completely pointing upwards. Drop the shoulders, nice straight elbows. Good, and that might send some funny tingling feelings down to your fingertips, especially your little fingers. So don't do it too long if that is the case, just monitor it to make sure it doesn't feel too bad. Turn the palms down and we're going up and down now. We are not trying to fly. Good, although it could be quite good fun if we could. <laughs> Brilliant. Good, and bring the arms down, fantastic. Okay, take the weight onto your left leg. You want to scoop that leg off the floor to come forwards, and again, scoop it along the floor to come to the side, and then behind you. Now, behind you is going to be blocked. I don't want you to arch your back, or twist, or fall over. <laughs> so forward, scoop along the floor, sideways, and back. Keeping your bottom tucked under, forwards side and back. Brilliant. Front, side, back, keeping those hips level. Side. I'm keeping my foot flexed for these, which I think helps. Lovely. Other side. You will notice it was the leg that you were standing on that's doing most of the work. So take the weight over to the other leg and scoop forwards, side, and back. You really have to work on that backwards one to make sure the back doesn't arch and you don't go too far. Good. Forwards, side, back. Last one. Side, back. Fantastic. Give your legs a little shake. There's that tension that builds up. I'm just going to take Top layer off, it's surprising how warm you get just doing a few of these exercises here. Let's turn to the side, stepping back with your left leg and then it makes it easier for me, I can talk about your right or your left. Coming up tall on that back leg like that, up tall, everything pointing forwards and back knee heading down to the floor and come back up. Remember if you find these quite difficult, just bend a little and squeeze that last little bit out of it. Okay, off we go. Two, three, tighten the thigh, tighten the back leg, four, five, six, nine, ten, last one, brilliant. Come to face the front and then swivel to face the other side. Up tall on that right um, foot there, pulling up through the calf at the back. Good, everything pointing forwards, drop your shoulders, back knee heading to the floor. Squeeze everything all the way up. Two, three, especially through that back leg. You want to feel like you're heading straight down to the floor with that back knee. Even if it's a small movement, that's still the direction. give the legs a shake. I feel like I've said that three times already today, so we've obviously done a little bit of leg work there. We can do our arm work a little bit more on the floor. Now then, I'm going to challenge you today with our press-ups. And you're probably wondering why you're still standing up, Kim, talking about press-ups. So we're going to do some roll down, three press-ups, and roll back up again now. I know this is not going to be for everybody. So if you know this is going to be challenging, then you might want to just come down onto the floor and do the box press-ups that we've been doing for the last few weeks. But I will show you one of the exercises we're doing now. Tuck the chin, roll down, walk forwards, knees down, one, two, three, and then we're going to push our way back up again. Don't worry about having perfect form for these, it's just to get your heart rate going a little bit for one of the exercises at least today. 
So like I say, if you know you're going to find that too challenging, come onto your hands and knees and just do three nice gentle sets of maybe six to eight box press ups. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Tuck the chin, curl down, walk forwards. Good, knees down. One, two, three. And walk your way back up. That's one out of the way, we're doing five. I didn't tell you that, did I? Chin down, curl down, walk forwards. Knees down. One, two, three. And walk your way back up. That's two down, three to go. Chin down, curl down, walk forward. Knees down, knees down if you want, don't have to. Good. Two more to go. Curl down. Forwards. They're a bit more raggy than your usual Pilates, so don't worry too much about your form. Walk your way back up. On this next one, we're going to stay down, I promise you. Curl down. Walk forwards. Knees down. One, two, three. Lovely. Well done for those of you who stayed with me for that. Sit back into your heels. Your reward is to do a nice child pose stretch. Good. Pick up your hips and drop forwards. Dropping the hips down, shoulders down, stretching in that direction. Lovely, can we pick up one heel at a time? Brilliant if you can get to 90 degrees. If you can just about peel that foot off the floor, then good. <laughs> well done. That's it, that, that's hard. <laughs> Brilliant. Just coming onto the hands and knees there. Hands hip width apart. Good. And drop a lift through the shoulders. Just mobilising and stretching through those shoulders. Draw in that lower tummy. Breathing. That last one might have got you a little bit out of breath, perhaps. Good. Settle in the middle. And let's try and do some just the pelvis tilts there. Isolating from the shoulders to the pelvis. As they talked about on Strictly last weekend, they talked about isolating the pelvis from the shoulders. We're always doing that in Pilates. And Pilates was first for dancers, to be fair, so there you go. <laughs> Stretch your right arm forwards, up and round, pushing away through the arm that's on the floor. Good. And down, and then the other arm, pushing up and round. Two. Last one. Brilliant. Good stuff. And then with the legs, we're going to start with the left leg and just going out to the side and back in. Trying to keep that back as level as you can, taking it to the side. Off we go. One. We'll do ten on each side. Two. Three. Keep using your tummy. Four. Lovely, put that knee down and then that you can feel as well how high your hip went. Try not to let your hip lift. Push up and away through the arms and the other leg. One, two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Sit back into the heels again. Why not? Tuck the chin. And put your forehead down on the mat. Good. All right, we're going to come onto our fronts here. Internet problem moments and things. Anyway, onto your fronts. It's been a bit dodgy today. Tuck your chin, arms down by your sides. Lift up your shoulders, then your hands. Hands down, shoulders down. Keep going. Shoulders up, hands up, hands down, shoulders down. Keep your bottom tucked under. And keep your breathing relaxed. Nice. Two 
more. Now come up and keep them up, turn your palms to face in and circle outwards. Good, keeping the elbows locked straight. And circle in. Three, two, one, and come back down. Lovely. So push your way up and let's bring our legs through to sit. Heels planted firmly into the floor. Arms out in front of you. Tucking through your chin, lengthening up through the back of the neck, straighten out through the elbows. Scoop and tuck under, drawing in the tummy and then pull yourself up to all on the sitting bones. Ignore the clunking that goes on through your glutes, especially if you're on a hard floor like me. Good, I can hear clunk, clunk, one and then the other. That doesn't mean anything too specific. Brilliant. Try not to lean forwards, we're not rowing. We're coming up tall with each one. Great. Last one. Brilliant. Stretch out your legs and come forwards. Great. Lift and drop each knee. That gives you a little wiggly nerve stretch through the backs of the legs. Nice. All right, we're going to bend the knees again because it's a much nicer position to be in, especially for those of you with tight hamstrings. Have the arms out in front. Curl back, scoop in, and then open out your arms as you come up. Curl back, open out as you come up. Good, dropping the shoulders. Scoop in through your tummy as you curl back, and then broaden out through the chest with the long arms. Great. Three. Okay, coming down onto your back. Good. Having a bit of a slow day today and I'm much appreciating being able to lie down on my back at this point in the day. So make sure you tuck through your chin, broaden out the chest, push your shoulders down, away from your ears, keeping those ribs down. Tighten through your pelvic floor. That should get to your deep abdominals, which remember they wrap around like a corset. You don't feel them, so you should feel quite soft around here whilst you have the deep ones tightening. Good, and up and down. And if you do struggle with all of those concepts, remember I have filmed on my YouTube channel um, Pilates for Beginners. Um, so if you just Google that, Pilates for Beginners, Kim Saha, get to it and it will explain all of these concepts to you. But failing that too, um, you can have a one-to-one -one with me to go through all of the, the specifics for you. And we can do that on Zoom. Brilliant. Lovely, taking one knee out to the side. So with this, it's the leg that's on the floor that's the one that stays still and the one that does the work. The other leg is just a distraction, taking it out to the side, making the hips want to rock that way. But you need to stop them and keep them pointing forwards. And actually just having your hands on the front of your hips there will help. Whilst we're doing these, keep thinking, tucking the chin, broadening the chest, keeping the ribs down, making sure you breathe into your lower outer lungs. Two. <laughs> Good, sliding one leg away. If you can hear laughing, that's my son in the other room because he's off on some kind of virtual learning day today, which he's clearly not doing, he's watching a video. Tighten through your thighs, squeeze your thigh, and he's just come in, he didn't realise. <laughs> Good. Brilliant. 
now tabletop. Always hit that tabletop position where your shin is level with the ceiling. Stretch it away, back in and down. And then the other leg, tabletop, out, in, down. Tighten through the thigh. Squeeze your thigh. Good. Keep your hips still. Oh, got my hair tucked underneath me. It means I can't lengthen the back of my neck. <laughs> One more each side. Lovely. Some crunches. Bring your hands behind your head. And I love these double crunches at the moment. Up, up, down, down. Okay, let's do 10 of them and then we'll probably do five each leg. Keep the arch in the back, tighten your pelvic floor. Good, one, two, three, Seems like a lot when you're doing double counts. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Lovely, right leg up, five on each leg. One, two, keep that tummy in, little arch in the back. Three. Five. Brilliant, other leg up. Last one, five. So hopefully a little bit of burning going on in your abs there, which is what we want. Good, tuck the chin, ribs down, tighten through your pelvic floor, right leg up, draw in, push those ribs down. Imagine you're doing another crunch, but you're keeping your head down. Pick up the other leg, down, down. This should be seamless and smooth and hips level. Good, up, up, down, down, keep going. When you pick the feet up from the floor, there is no shift or movement around here. Have your hands where you like. <laughs> Two more. Brilliant. And then go with the other leg first. Make sure you take some nice breaths as you go. Your breathing should be just flowing, going into the lower outer lungs. I don't talk breathing a lot with my exercises. As long as you're not holding your breath, then I'm fine with it. Breathing into your tummy can disrupt what your abdominals are doing. So try to breathe laterally to the outside. Last one. Good. Knees and toes together, hands on your ribs, pick up the hip and the foot, roll over, pull back to the centre, pick up the hip and the foot and go over the other way. Pull back, it's that active, draw back to the centre, squeeze in, that's important. Good, draw back to the middle. each side. These will feel quite easy, but it's the brain work on these ones that make you rotate and then pull back to the centre. Separate your feet again. Legs up to tabletop one at a time, drawing your tummy, get some activation through those abs. Stretch away and back in, stretch out and back in, tighten through your thigh. Good. Nice and slow for these. I make a lot of our exercises quite fast because I like to move fast. I'm a bit more that way inclined. <laughs> but sometimes it's good to slow them down, be purposeful, tighten the thigh at the end of the range each time as you stretch the leg out. One more each side and bring your legs down. Good, give them a little shake. Cool. All right, 
rock the pelvis backwards and forwards, just finding what that range is. And then with your heels close to your bum, tucking under, flattening and curling up, pushing your knees away. And then your ribs come down first and you curl, curl, curl down and find that little arch in the back again. Tuck under, curl up, push your knees away and then curl back down. Brilliant, you should activate your abs on the way back down, so tucking under and then what you do is you push the ribs down and you squeeze through your abs to curl back down. We're going to curl up to the top and then we're going to stay there and I want you to lift one heel at a time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, another ten. and curl back down. Your back might get a little bit tired on that one, so it's nice to pull the knees into the chest and perhaps roll from side to side to ease that off slightly, should you need to. Good work. Um, let's curl back up again, up on the toes. I know a few people have gone into cramp in their calves on this one before, so just be really careful. Tucking under, curling up, up on the toes. Good, and we're going to try and stretch one leg out at a time. One, two, pull the foot right underneath you each time. Three, four, plant it firmly. Five, six, seven, eight, keep all of this strong. Nine, ten, nice, come down. They were hard, I know. <laughs> okay, so a few more challenging abs exercises. Let's have the hands behind the head and crouch. This is my variation on a more traditional one. Bring the legs up to tabletop, stretch out the right and rotate to the left. Let's try and get 20. Stretch out the left, rotate to the right. Two, three, four. Rotating around the spine. Seven, keep the elbows wide, pull across with the chest. We've got eight more to do. Nice, bring the knees in. Good, it's a nice section of abs there. I think we've done enough. So let's turn onto the side. Good. Okay, so coming down, prop your head in your hands. Tuck your ribs back, tuck the hips back, come towards the end of the mat, I always find, and your knees should be out in front of you a little bit there, your feet in line with your bum. Push your top hip away. So if you push away with the top hip and having that hand there really helps, you should create a little gap underneath your waist there. And push the knee away from you as well, so elongate along that top knee. And then as you lift the knee, you scoop and push away and lift. Push away and lift and you'll probably feel it a bit more intensely. Intensely? In that glute. And slowing it down slightly today. Lovely, bring your feet up to hip height. And again, keep pushing that knee away and lifting. And straighten out the bottom leg, bend the top knee and hook the top foot around. Now again, we're pushing that um, top hip away Draw in your tummy and you should need your fingertips on the floor there if you're doing this one really strictly. So push away and lift. Gritting my teeth. <laughs> nice. Let's go over onto the other side. Cool. 
prop your head in your hand, tuck your bottom hip back, scoop your bottom under as I come right to the end of the mat with my hips and my knees come forwards towards the front of the mat. Remember you're pushing top hip away like that, creating that little gap underneath your waist, scooping to tuck your bottom under and push away with that knee. more than 10 if I remember on these ones. Okay, now feet up, again push away with that top knee to trying to draw a semicircle. Well, it's hardly a semicircle, is it? It's like a piece of cheese. <laughs> more focused on these glutes. Tuck the top foot around the back of the knee and again push away and lift. Three, nine, ten. Lovely. Right, bend both knees, come down onto that arm, so make a pillow for that arm. The arm can be straight out in, um, above you or it can be straight out in front if your neck feels all right there. Because the other arm is going to start here, I'm going to move to the front of my mat. And we're going to breathe in and then breathe out as that arm comes over. Keep those hips completely stacked, keep that top knee pushing away from you in fact. Good, and then to the front. Good, so keep that glute position, keep the clam position that we just used. Lovely. Breathing in as the arm comes up, breathing out as it comes over. Two more. Good, all this rotation through the upper chest is so good for you. Lovely. Let's come on to the other side. So assuming that good clam position, hips back, bottom tucked under, top and you pushed away from you a little bit there. Um, have your head either in your arm or there, whichever works for you. I think this is best for me. I open my hand behind and then I can kind of cradle my head as it comes there. So stretch away with the top arm, breathe in as you come up. Breathe out as you come over. Hopefully you've got enough room in this jungle. I can move myself forwards. <laughs> Breathing in. <sighs> Breathe out and over. Push that top knee away from you. Good. Two more. Last one. Good, nice one. Okay, so we need some good stretches now. Um, that one was a stretch obviously as well. So coming up, we've missed out our glute stretch because we um, <laughs> moved straight onto those ones, but it's always nice to stretch off the glutes after you've worked them. Just easing from side to side, the most relaxed stretch there is perhaps. <laughs> Good, and then bring your legs out into a V shape. Good, good. Cool, just easing your way forwards if that works for you. With your hands behind you, you might be back here. It's all acceptable. <laughs> good, coming forwards into it. Great, and your legs might not be particularly wide, they may be just here, but these adductors can get really tight. We talk about tight hamstrings causing problems, but tight adductors and inner thigh can cause problems as well. Let's have the arms out, reach forwards and across, and then back out again. Forwards and across, great. Don't worry if these feel restricted, it's fine. Just going, moving mobilizing, working through those hips. It's all fantastic. One more. 
four each side. Lovely. Coming around and onto your front so we can stretch our quad. Bending one knee up, pulling the heel towards your bum, pushing the knee away and keeping the knees fairly close together as well. Tucking the bottom under, try to tilt your pelvis a little bit and tuck under. It won't be massively perceivable because that's relaxed and when I tuck under my heel comes away from my bum a little bit because that means it's that little bit tighter. So try and scoop and tuck your bottom under as you do these stretches. And then the other side. Keeping the knees fairly together, push the knee away. Tucking your bottom under. Excellent. Um, so I had somebody ask me about um, our mermaid position and that it was difficult to have this hip down on the floor here. So before we start our mermaid, I want to do some hip stretches where you have your feet out in front of you here and you drop one knee in. You'll feel all sorts of stretches around that hip when you drop that knee in. You can feel a bit spasmy, a bit crampy around the hip and then come back up and then the other knee dropping in. One, no doubt, will feel worse than the other. But this is an ideal position to get into, to stretch, to be able to get that hip down for our mermaid, which we'll do next. Good. Last one. Brilliant. So let's see if that helps any more to get that hip down. Don't worry if that hip doesn't come down to the floor. When I say keep your hip down, I just mean don't let it pick up as you come over to the side. Try and keep it where it is. And one way of keeping the hip down is to push through this arm, the hand that's on the floor. Okay, so we're all going to go over to, to the hand on the floor. Good. Let's try and keep that arm straight this time. So let's do some straight arm ones there. Because what that does is you push into it and you push the hip down to the floor it's a slightly different stretch to usual pushing away into it three four five lovely swapping sides good and this is the arm now that we're pushing into push into it as you come over so as you push into it, you're almost pushing that other hip down. Good. Three. Four. Probably feeling all sorts of interesting stretches around your back. Five. Very nice. Okay, on to our friends. I just wanted to do some hamstring work briefly before we come up onto our knees to do the hip flexor stretch. With the right, bend, and then you pull the heel towards your bum, and then you pull the toe up and down. So now it's toe, flex, toe, and down. Point, flex, point, and down. Alternating legs, point, flex, point, and down, keep tucked under, point, flex, making my toes cramp, point and down, good, flex, point, one more each side, flex, point and down, again, lovely, pushing up again, and stepping one leg forwards, Stretching and pushing up through your arms. You can hook them together and push up, that's nice. Lunging forwards and stretching through that back hip. Breathe. Sit back towards the heel, just halfway. 
point and flex that free ankle. Nice. Bring that foot back and the other one up. Hook your hands together and stretch straight up, tucking your bottom under, lunging forwards into it, elbows straight. Sitting back halfway, feel the stretch down through the hamstring on that straight leg. And by pointing and flexing your ankle, you kind of just distract yourself <laughs> from it. Lovely. Tuck both feet under now. Turn your toes under and stretch your bottom up for this last little bit. Pushing one heel down at a time, feeling the stretch down through the back of the calf. Breathing, broadening the back of the chest. Keep those elbows straight, pushing your tailbone straight up towards the ceiling. Good. Walking in. Hanging there. Let your arms go, let your head go. Everything relax and bend and straighten each knee. <sighs> nice. Curl your way back up. Brilliant. So I hope you feel all nice and relaxed after that. and ready to get on with the rest of the day's work.